the bee mites, the bark below the tree bites, the quietness of darkness, the stories told by firelight, the long nights, the food bites, a summer made of memories at camp, camp. Campers, today we'll deal with the most common problem facing hikers. Foot blisters! No, determining the quickest way back to camp. Now, this route appears shorter, but it involves crossing a deep canyon. On the other hand, this route seems longer, but we can ride the rapids back to Lake Cacciatore. Now, which route would you take? The one that gets me away from that mountain lion real quick! Mountain lion? What mountain lion? There's no... Yeah. Mountain lion! This little cross-country run reminds me of a story. <laughs> it was the most important day of the year at Camp Candy. Parents' Day. All the campers were pitching in, getting a place ready for all the different events. Alex collected eggs for the egg-tossing competition. No eggs, huh? You know what your problem is? Lack of exercise. Let's start with some push-ups. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Feel the burn? Stretch, stretch, and stop. <laughs> now try it. That's more like it. Vanessa pitched in to help dig the tug-of-war mud puddle. Imagine me having to dig ditches. This is supposed to be a summer camp, not prison camp. Get with the program, Vanessa. Watching people fall in the mud is fun. Oh! My designer short, ruined. These are the only pair I have in mow. When I have them brown. <laughs> oh, a oh, Rick. Watching people fall in the mud is fun. As for me, well, I was busy doing something I really enjoy. Baking pies for the big pie-eating contest. Uh, how corny. It's the old rolling pin on the floor bit. I saw Curly do this in an old Three Stooges movie. Oh, yeah? Well, you never saw him do this. Still think it's corny? Hmm, not bad. What did you do for an encore? What do I think of an encore? I think they did give you an encore. Give you a... 247, 248, 249, 250. Alex, what on earth are you doing? Getting in shape for Parents' Day. I can't wait till my dad gets here. We are going to blow away the competition. Don't be so sure. My mommy and daddy can are both super athletes. Special delivery letter, Vanessa. It's from your parents. <laughs> won't be coming for Parents' Day. Why ever not? Their private jet is stranded on some tropical island. That's a pretty sorry excuse. There, there, you poor dear. You mustn't hold back the tears. Why not? It's bad enough I won't have my parents. I don't need red puppy eyes, too. Oh, oh, John, if you could have seen Vanessa's face. Oh, pretending to be so brave. Oh, but deep inside, I know her little heart was aching. Well, uh, gosh, Nurse Molly, what can I do to help? Oh, you can offer to be her parent for the day. Me? Be Vanessa's father? <laughs> Would you rather be her mummykins? Yeah, good point. 
Yeah, she had me there. I headed straight for Vanessa's cabin to talk her down off the roof. Uh, you who Vanessa? You who Vanessa? You, you mind if I come up? As long as you don't block my son. <sighs> you know, Vanessa, I, I can remember once when I was a camper and my parents didn't show up for Parents' Day. Really? Yes, they, they had to stay home and wait for the phone company, so I, I, I know how your heart must be aching. Gosh, is it that obvious? I could understand why Vanessa was acting that way. For once in her life, she didn't have something other kids had. Parents. I tell you what, I'll take the place of your parents for the day, huh? I couldn't ask you to do that. It would dredge up such painful memories for you. Hey, it'll be good therapy. Well, all right, if you think you could handle it. I tell you what, I'll take the place of your parents for the day, huh? I couldn't ask you to do that. It would dredge up such painful memories for you. Hey, it'll be good therapy. Well, all right, if you think you could handle it. It's a deal. Put her there, daughter. <laughs> Whatever you say, Daddy Kim. Fatherhood. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Yuck. Finally, the big day was here, and we all waited anxiously to see which parent would be first to arrive. It turned out to be Rick's mom and dad. Look, it's little Rick. Junior! Mom! Dad! Hi, I'm head counselor Candy. Well, it's a joy to meet you! <laughs> I like this fella, son. He gets off good vibrations. <laughs> and by the way, I'm Rick's dad. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, the nut doesn't fall far from the tree. But at least Rick's pants showed up. Next, a lone figure in a huge truck came roaring into camp. <laughs> it was Alex's father. Yo, Alex! Yo, Dad! <laughs> Where's Mom? Ugh, she couldn't make it. Her uh, semi-big rig broke down outside of uh, Albuquerque. Hi, I'm Counselor Candy. Welcome to Parents' Day. I'm Alex's old man, Rock. Ow! Ow? Uh, I, 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 I meant how. It's an ancient Indian greeting thing. The next to arrive was Robin's mom and dad. They were both animal doctors. Mom! Oh, thanks for reminding me. And I don't want to crush Floppy. And the final arrival was... <laughs> my babies! Where are my babies? You must be Iggy and Binky's mom. I can tell by all that safety equipment. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I always say. Mommy! Don't run! You can fall and hurt yourself! That's better. Well, where's Dad? Oh, here he comes with a few extra medical supplies. Oh, my little angel cupcakes. I've missed you so much. Let me look at you. <gasps> Heavens, you look awful. I know. First it was my sinus headaches. Then I started to see spots in front of my eyes. And then I... Not you. Pinky, he has a skin knee. Aw, it's only a boo-boo. Boo-boos, if unattended, can lead to major surgery. Don't you worry. I have everything they'll ever need here in my first aid kit. You call that a first aid kit? Now this is a first aid kit. Oh, my. Oh, I bow before your medicinal superiority. I can see this is going to be some parents' day. Finally, the moment arrived for the opening ceremony, the raising of the Camp Candy flag. Way to go, Dad. It's an old joke, Junior, but it still works. You can't beat the classics. Let the games begin. And may the best team win!
The first event was the egg toss. Each camper chose their most athletic parent as their teammate. Oh, well, the object is to toss the egg to your partner, who must catch it without it breaking. Vanessa, what are you doing here? I thought your parents weren't coming. Oh, they're not. I'm helping John work through a childhood nightmare. And I'm having one of my own. All right, everyone, toss! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! Here you go. Oh, cholesterol! Keep it away from me! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, John. It's just hard for me to get into the spirit of all this with my parents not here. I know how you feel, Vanessa, but it's okay to have fun. Oh, well, I'll try, but it won't be easy. <laughs> Oh, heavens! Are they throwing what I think they're throwing? Yeah, eggs! <laughs> All right! Don't look! You're too young to watch such violence! Aw, oh, Mom, please! It's gory, but it's me! Any more of your beak, young man, and you're grounded! This is the last time I take you to an eggs-rated event! Okay, Dad, start tossing! Well, whatever you say, son! <laughs> Ever see a case of scrambled brains before? <laughs> oh, Dad, now we're gonna lose the contest. I know, but wasn't that yolk worth it? To... <laughs> Robin, Robin and her mother, both being animal lovers, easily won the contest when they didn't break a single egg. next event was the canoe race. On your marks, get set, roll! Alex and Rock, paddling like a well-oiled machine, quickly took the lead. Iggy and his mom weren't doing quite as well, mainly because their canoe was carrying a life raft, a ship-to-shore radio, and a week's supply of emergency rations. Robin and her mother forgot it was a race and turned it into a fish-feeding cruise. Vanessa and I made a great team. I paddled while she navigated by the position of the sun. Turn left. Now turn right. Now left again. In other words, she was working on her tan, while Rick and his dad had their own system of winning. Hang on, Junior. We're about to make waves. <laughs> now the race was coming down to the finish line. It was going to be close. Dad, slow down. We're going to crash. I can't. The fan is stuck. What a dilemma. Rick's runaway canoe was headed straight for Alex's. Suddenly, a last-minute miracle happened. Rick's canoe went into a crazy skid that formed Lake Catchatory Tidal Wave. Anna, we're surfing! We are? Well, in that case, surf up and down! up was the sack race. Come on, partner, climb in. Put on a sack? Really? How totally tacky. You don't have to wear it, you just hop in it. Did you say shop in it? All right, let's do it. Oh, you all look ridiculous. All right, ready, set, jump. Alex and Rock jumped out to an early lead. Way to go, Dad, we're winning. The problem was they didn't know their own strength. Oh, tough luck, babe. We must overtrain. Ah, uh, no sweat, Dad. We'll take him on the next event. Right on. Say, this is kind of fun. Of course it is. You just make believe you're a, uh, yeah, a frog, you know, ribbit, ribbit. All right, but I draw the line at eating flies. It looked like Rick and his dad would be certain winners. They were about to cross the finish line when something unexpected happened. I'm afraid I'll have to disqualify you both. Why? For having a, a spring in our step. <laughs> Good one, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Junior. <laughs> Next up was the pie eating contest. Vanessa, we're a shoe in to win this contest. Cherry pie is my favorite. I'm afraid you're on your own, John. I just started my diet. Oh, no. 
Not even just a little Don't piece or something or a small everyone. pie? The pie eating contest <laughs> is about to begin. Contestants, pig. Ow! <laughs> threw themselves into a tooth and nail, but mostly tooth. Except for Iggy, that is. Now remember, Iggy, to each bite ten times before you swallow. <laughs> Vanessa and I made a perfect team. She fed me, and I fed my face. Keep it up, John. We're doing great. <laughs> the non-stop orgy of pie eating continued for a full hour. Until everyone else dropped out, it was down to Iggy's mom and me. Iggy's mom was dangerous. She was small, but quick with her lips. As for me, I couldn't move a muscle. Oh, oh, oh. As for Iggy's mom, she was just as stuffed as I was. It was a standoff. Neither of us could make our move. So how did it end? The suspense is killing me. Okay, I'll tell you right after this next commercial. <laughs> I just hope it's not for anything you have to eat, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, boy. Come on, Mom, finish him off! I can't eat another bite. Here comes the choo-choo. Woo-woo! Open the tunnel. Oh. 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 And the winner is Iggy and Pinky's mom. I, I gave it my best shot. And you said this contest would be a piece of cake. Oh, must you mention cake? <laughs> it was the final event, the obstacle course. There were barrels to crawl through, ropes to climb, and mud puddles to cross. It was the final event, the obstacle course. There were barrels to crawl through, ropes to climb, and mud puddles to cross. Only those contestants in tip-top condition could hope to finish it. Rick and his dad were warming up with jumping jacks. Robin and her mom were getting themselves in shape by doing cat stretches. That's it. Stretch slowly. But, Mom, it's a foot race. How can I run with all this equipment? Very slowly. 103. 106, 107, 108. That is, everyone was getting ready except for our team. Quit? But why? Oh, face it. We can't possibly win. <sighs> We've lost every single event. Even so, we got to go out there and try. That's what competitions are all about. Just doing your best. Besides, you, you might just enjoy it. Come on, partner. Huh? What do you say? Dad, as long as I don't have to work up a sweat. Ah, that's my little girl. Binky was too young, Dander, but he found himself a terrific ringside seat. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> Binky's box seat turned out to be the antlers of a panicky moose. <laughs> The contestants weren't the only ones that took off at the sound of the gun. A moose? Oh, come on, give me a break. Hey, would I kid a kid? Now follow me, Iggy. Yes, Mommy. Hey, Mommy, look at me. the runaway moose had totally panicked and was headed straight for blind man's bluff. Unless I got help and fast, little Binky was a goner. Suddenly there was Alex and her dad, Rock. They'd help me stop that moose. Uh, Alex! Rock! I'm sorry, Mr. Rock! I need your help!
gentlemen, I made an important decision. Next year, I'd schedule the obstacle race before the pie-eating contest. With all of us out of it, that left only one person who could save Binky. That's right, Vanessa. Me? No way! Daring rescues are definitely not my thing. Oh, yes, but, but, but think what an opportunity this is. Oh, you, you'll have center stage all to yourself. I will? Center stage? Oh, why, absolutely. I can see it now. All eyes turn toward the stylishly dressed Vanessa as she risks her wardrobe to rescue little Binky. Hmm. Well, since you put it that way, I'll do it. Things look bad for little Binky. The out-of-control moose was headed for the edge of Blind Man's Bluff, when suddenly... Halt! Drop that child this instant! Oh. Oh, when will I learn to stop being such a humanitarian? That evening, everyone anxiously awaited the handing out of the awards. Because of their exceptional show of courage, the grand prize goes to that parent and child team! And it was my idea, John and Vanessa! You must be so proud. I'd be even prouder if my real parents were here to see this. Nothing personal, John. Speech! 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know. Don't worry. I do. A baby blue spot, please. I'd like to thank all the little people who made this award possible. Like little Binky. Oh, shucks. And I'd also like to thank my substitute daddy, Kim John. Without him, this never would have happened. Oh, oh, my nose! It's all shiny. Why didn't someone tell me? Makeup! Oh, dear. Oh, I was afraid that might happen. Winning the award went to her head. I'm afraid it went to my head, too. What are you doing? Don't pull it down. Pull it down. Let me go. Let me go. I'm not like you. Oh. If you love Nintendo, you love NBC's newest cartoon. He's masterful and magical, and you'll find him in the world of Nintendo Land. He's Captain N, the Game Master, with all your favorite original video characters. So get set to play with this fun-filled cartoon, next only on NBC.